this video, we're going to show you how to reset the ASMI password and reset all, pretty much the server back factory through the switch on the board. Okay, so for this purpose, I have an 8205 E60, and in this, in this case, if you get a machine and you try to get into the ASMI using the defaults and it does not work because the password has been changed or whatever the case may be, or you can't get hooked up to an HMC, this is the steps you would follow. First, make sure the system is powered down and off. You're going to remove the lid. And in, on, on the board, usually kind of towards the back, there's going to be a switch that you'll press down. Or in two little pins that you'll toggle. Um, in this case, there are two different kinds. One will usually have like a little, almost looks like a little chip with two toggle pins that you can move forward, take a little pin or needle and just move in the opposite direction. This one, however, those can be a little hard to find, but in this case, we have this switch, this type of uh, switch right here that we can flip. It's uh, more of a box looking thing, it's a big black looking um, piece and it has, as you can see, two white pins that are sticking out from it. And then these pins are already pushed up. So to reset everything, you would just simply push them both down. See, there's another in the down spot. <clears throat> and once you've done that, you can put the lid back on, power up your machine, and when you do that, everything will be set back to factory defaults. So if you want to add it to the HMC, it'll ask for the authentication. You just put in the default for the HMC, and you can get into the ASMI with the default logins, no problem. <laughs>